Today I wanted to do an Oxygen Not Included playthrough, well, beginner guide also, kind of. And I basically wanted to show the steps of how to start and play this game. Because from what I've seen on the internet, there are beginner guides, but they are not that helpful as of, like, as in they give what you need to start. But I hope with my input I can help a few people do a, have a good playthrough and have a lot of fun with this game because honestly I really really like this game. Yeah. So we're gonna do the usual starting a new game and of course you can pick no sweat. I pick survival because I am always used to that. Uh, we're gonna be playing through each, well, of these asteroids, at least I'm gonna attempt to, but this is gonna be a playthrough of the first, well, asteroid, so if anyone wants to, like, play it with me, then here we have this, these coordinates. I will probably also put them in the description, so you can join me if you want. And as you see, we start off with these three duplicates. Um, normally, you pick like spe you normally spe uh, pick specific ones, and you try to get the best type of abilities or traits here, because. Um, as you can see, like, you do not want stuff like bottomless stomach or, like, possibly nightophobic because you might not get them, uh, like, you might not be able to deal with that early on. So, what I always like to do is start with a builder that's gonna also do a little bit of uh, digging, like, then I'm gonna do a specific farmer because farming in the start is very necessary otherwise you don't really have any food early on which can be a big detriment and then I try to get like something between like a supplier suit wearer and operator I always go with operating trait because that comes in later like it's very good later on. Here we are, our three starting duplicates, Otto, Bert, and Pei. They have um, building plus 10, interests, farming, uh, research, and suit wearing for Bert, and for Pei, operating and researching. So yeah, if you want to yet, you can like add in their name, for instance, builder, and then, and then you would always know what to skill with them, but I don't do that because I always just, well, look at what their interests are and, like, that's what they are for. And, yeah, then we embark on our mission in the beautiful pit. So, you are always gonna be put in such an underground facility. It always looks like this, For like these few blocks are nearly always the same. It's everything around that that always changes. And the first thing you are want, going to want to do is look for where your water supply is and where you're gonna get oxygen and stuff like that. For instance, here you have Oxalite always ready, but you can also see here are big pockets of air that you can always use, and more Oxalite. These give you free oxygen with no cost. They just run out after a while, which is why you, well, keep them there for most of the time, till you finally don't need them. And, of course, you're gonna need the water, so... First thing we're gonna do is 
actually the most important thing, which is building out a room for our toilets. Because the problem with the toilets is that if someone, well, does their stuff near the water, then this becomes infected, well, germ infested, and you have a problem with how good that water is in the end. So we're gonna have them dig out this area and also dig out a bit here. I might just cancel this here because they need to. And this is what you're gonna try to avoid because now Otto here is stuck because he climbed up and climbed further up. So we're now gonna have to save him. What I'm gonna do is simply, I plan on building a ladder here, which you can always do as you want, but I always like to build like a three space wide place here, which then gives help with airflow and it also helps with how they simply get out. And it's more efficient in a way. Because the more airflow you have, the easier it is to well give air to your whole base. And we will see how Otto here is just well not doing much because he doesn't have the material to build the things here. And that's where also here you can have priorities, which helps in making certain stuff run as, well, more important than the other stuff. And since we have here our first water supply, I'm gonna go build here and take this apart. And we're gonna have a pitcher pump. So what I did here was I planned out a toilet system for, well, an outhouse system for, for duplicants because I plan after these three to have at least one more. You most of the time don't want to put more than that unless you can be like absolutely certain that you have enough food and materials for them. Otherwise, you are gonna be fine with three to four duplicates at the start. Like, don't worry about having too little stuff two little duplicates to do stuff in there. So basically I'm gonna have them build this up now. And always put your uh, well, sinks and stuff to face out of the door because otherwise they wash their hands in and out which just wastes the amount of water that you have. Which, as you can see here, is not that much. Of course, I'm gonna tap later into this and into this, possibly. Oh, okay, a cool steep bed. That could be a problem. That's the second part. When you look around, you need to make sure that you don't have stuff that are too hot, that bleed into your base. So you're always gonna try to like keep a uh, temperature, otherwise you would have too much heat and stuff would go wrong. Like you cannot plant food because everything would be too warm for the food to survive. And yeah, that's why you have that. Because that gives pressure to the game. And Another thing you need is, of course, doors here, 
they help by making kind of well you have room you have rooms which can give you morale bonuses and stuff like you can use stables as a grooming station you can have farmhouses which greenhouses with which you can well use a farming station and stuff like that also massage clinic excellent for stress which we will later be having and similar stuff and another thing you can do is always if you have such plants that grow naturally always try to put them on auto harvest at least the ones that are useful like for instance these bristle blossoms are not gonna really be that useful but at least you have them there but stuff like neo wood you can definitely do auto harvest and that simply will help you gain a bit food before you start farming. Yeah, here you can see they don't like the sun of, well, the sun bugs, shine bugs, because they simply don't fall asleep when there is light, unless they have the specific trait that they need light to fall asleep. Oh, yeah. Then basically what you're gonna try to do is make this uh, thing. And I'm gonna dig out here and here because otherwise you just have unnecessary space that's not picking up. Um, a good thing to do is always have like a few storage bins here and there that basically gives you more decor because if you have if you see this overlay you have negative decor because of debris and of course the outhouses but like here you have good decor and then you have debris around here which gives you negative decor which will later come in handy so you do here all for, like for the moment we will be changing that soon because if we put like too hot stuff in then we do not want that and here you can see the problem this is creating an immense amount of heat that will then sooner or later bleed into here which is why we also need to start researching which is why i got the stuff now we can build uh, I'm gonna do that down here because then you have oh wait I'm gonna build that up here that way you have an energy system which will then also feed into our research station which is very important here because the game depends on the fact that you well need to advance in sciences which is here just our research station so we let them build this up this also gives us the oxygenator over here oxygen diffuser which basically leads us to turn algae here into well oxygen so we're gonna build uh, okay we don't have any copper which is why we simply just build up here and i like to always do this sorted because if you have stuff like this then the wires cannot run through which leads to you not having any kind of space for that so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna plan where do we want what for me specifically i want my research station to be right 
here, I'm gonna say. That means I'm out of the stuff, but... Yeah. Here we're gonna have the... We're gonna build our power grid here for the stuff. Wires give less decor or like negative decor, so it's always best to put them underneath tiles, which is, but you cannot do that underneath any of the natural materials here, so always try to keep that in mind. The next thing you probably want to do is also always try to sweep up debris here that falls down like you don't need to have that at such a high priority but the duplicants will like it better because the debris doesn't give that bad decor when it's stored up and then we can also move further into the fact that, okay, we have enough oxygen, like 1700 grams per tile is good for the moment. What we have to be careful of is this carbon dioxide, because carbon dioxide, while always going below, is still a detriment if you accidentally get someone captured in it, because then they will suffocate, because they need oxygen to breathe, which you can see here, like, it's oxygen not included, and that's why there's also these notifications, no oxygen generator built, or no freezer. Yeah, so, here we are on the research, what you basically always want to start with, or what I always start with, is at minimum uh, go doing basic farming, and what I always do like to do is meal preparation because due to that you have the farm tiles and you can make designated farming places which is why you want a duplicate with farming so that this can start fairly early we are already on cycle 2 normally you would try to get uh, like cots and farming stuff built earlier but for now it's fine and you can also see we have a uh, latrine, which gives us the bonus, uh, morale bonus, and yeah, that help that will help us in the long run. Later that will also become a washroom, which gives us morale plus two. And that's it for now. Then we will yet try to figure out what we do with all this carbon dioxide here. We could simply build lower here and let it run there once we open up here, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Just what I'm realizing, this might have been a mistake. I could do this and like I put it one lower and that way I in the end have place the space to build the stuff further to walk on the way. Because before I wouldn't have been able to build this here. I will just try to dig up this here and I ran out of the oxalite there, as you saw, which is why I now had that gap there. Um, duplicants will always come every three cycles, so like at the end of this cycle there will be a duplicant, and the next few cycles there will be others. What you can do, as you can see, like, pay here is already working on research, because like, luckily she is the one with the... Uh, uh, 
here. She is the one with the research trait. She likes to research, she likes to operate, which is both good for us. So we always want her to do that. We want him to always farm and he can research too, but I won't put him specifically on that because he has more necessity out of suit wearing, which in the moment is not a problem, but he is more athletic and he is simply building. Like, I'm gonna only put building on him, which is why you go here and you can see these traits like highlighted a little bit. Like, of course, Otto we have here high building. I'm also gonna put him on digging because both of those hang together. I'm gonna do a bit of priority like that because that way anytime he builds something or digs something he will also supply the stuff directly to it. Um, then I will have Pei go on researching and I will have Bert go on farming once that starts up. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna put this in, yeah, what you can see, he's doing the up, he's doing a little bit of operating, because that, the menu generators give you athletics and operating, and for now they're just gonna deal with that, like that. What I want to do now is build this up a little bit higher. That way I can now build up. I can build them a place to sleep, which in this case is gonna be right over here. And what what you always want to do in Oxygen Not Included is having rooms four by, like, four by around, I like, I like doing 20 usually, but you can go any other length. It's just that you always want to do four tall, otherwise they cannot reach higher than that, which is why they also need a... Uh, place to go on top of so that they can build ceilings like this. So I'm gonna just dig out this and a little bit of this. That way I'm also getting more of my oxygen. Like for later. I have the algae there so I'm gonna dig that up so that I later need it, that I later have the oxygen once I need it. As you can see here. Right? These stuff are still poofing out, so you don't need to worry that much yet. As you can also see on the overlay here. Like, there is minimal carbon dioxide, and I'm gonna also dig lower here. That way I can build more. stuff because in the moment it's not that necessary I still have 19,000 kilocalories so I'm just gonna focus on making the cots in the moment which are in here furniture I'm gonna do this 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 and this because as you can see now we have a duplicate possibly that we could want and I'm just gonna make this into a room so that they also gain another bonus. And here's also another thing. Whenever there's sand, you need to be sure that once it drops, you either pick it up or like dig it out because otherwise it will block you from being able to do certain stuff on the machines you have below. 
So we'll now see if we have anyone to... Okay, interesting. What we have here are like... Most of you would think like 10 farming, this is good. Like 10 farming is good. No doubt about it. Just a thing that you need to put into effect is also mouth breather. So you will need to make more oxygen if you get such a dupe in and that like you might not be able to do that just yet which like i'm not gonna do that that's too much of a pressure on this base as of now then you have here suit wearing ranching and tidying honestly i'm considering quinn here because while cannot do construction it's like he's good at tidying he's good at like ranching which is gonna be good later on the other hand here this wouldn't be bad even though we have already a builder we have here ranching and cooking hmm. and there's no unconstructive hmm. now this is where you need to simply gauge what you find more important I am gonna pick Quinn because I can deal with the unconstructive part because I just need him to tidy up the areas after they get built and dug out. Like he can still dig so that's not a problem for me. Others you could you could also pick Oxyfer the Oxyfern seed but you don't have pips here it's kind of a waste of water in the moment to take that. So I'm gonna just pick Quinn. Welcome to the base, I guess. Like it's not really a base yet, but we will make it one. And as you can now see, we have these two stuff done. I will now like build farm tiles for my farming, for the places where I'm gonna farm. And for that I'm as, like, as the next thing what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do advanced research because you gain the, well, employment stuff here, which is a water cooler and thing, which will also be important later when I make from the mess tables a mess hall and later a great hall. And then we will also be able to do advanced research which is for basically all the stuff past here till you later come here where you need like space stuff um and yeah after this we will go here into rock crusher and the kiln then i'm gonna go also into jumbo battery and coal generator to smart battery that way i have everything for automated okay wait, no then you need to go here for automation which you will see later i will show but for the moment just advanced yeah advanced research is all that's needed so now we have him i only like he is not gonna be building but i want him to supply and store and tidy that's gonna be his main thing his main reason to live ah and here you can see here's a hatch what they do is basically anything that's on the floor they will eat which in the moment these are resources i need so i don't want him to eat that's why I'm going to put a priority on the sweeping there, because, okay, not an eighth priority. For anyone who is wondering if the priority system is complicated, but what I always like to do is just something on the line of seven-ish is better than going eight, nine, because then people will be doing that even though it's not what they're supposed to be doing in the moment. It just is like a baseline need yeah yeah and you can always see like 
they all have sore backs because while they're sleeping they're not sleeping very well they need the cots to sleep comfortably and sore back just makes that they don't sleep comfortably which is why they get a debuff of minus one athletics and yeah now that we actually have the farm tiles i can change this area from simply just being normal tiles to being an area with farm tiles which i'm gonna put all the way here and i'm gonna dig everything out here because while yes these are nice to have without needing to put water or dirt in them it's like this more helpful in the moment and i'm only gonna put meal wood actually this tile always should be a normal one because you're gonna be building a door so you cannot plan where there's a door and i'm gonna slightly just put this on a priority Seven, because yeah and yeah this is it for now like you can see he is doing the good stuff with tidying she is researching and he is building slash digging most of the time and he's running around doing the same stuff as Autumn. So but that's good. And yeah. This is gonna go on for a bit, so I'll be back when it's finished. Now we're back and as you can see they built their beds now which leads to them having barracks, well, cots, they don't have beds yet, that's another thing for later. Um, they have their barracks, which, yeah, now they have another moral, morale bonus, apart from the latrine. So that's gonna keep going, and here I'm gonna put mealwood seeds in. So now that they did the supercomputer building, I'm just gonna go here and I need to yet build the said supercomputer. Otherwise, of course, nothing will happen. <laughs> like this. And this is now basically just a research station. I will yet add something more so that as like a well addition to that which helps later on but that's it for the moment and just a tip for anyone uh try to always build the beds on top because as these like well the the gases like to sort themselves based on density, much like in real life. So oxygen is always gonna be most of the time on top and carbon dioxide is gonna be below. If they sleep in carbon dioxide, they're gonna suffocate or like they're not gonna sleep well and then that might not be that good. And now after a bit of time has passed and they have done stuff, you see now there are skills which Basically now I need uh, for pay to do advanced research because otherwise you cannot use the supercomputer. And for Quinn, I think I'm just gonna do improved strength and yeah, that does help with tidying and I can just sort them more into doing specific things. because now they get their hats, which they always are so happy with. Um, 
you can still see I have no oxygen generator built because I'm not at the loss of oxygen. I have so much oxalite here, this is not what usually happens. And here you see I missed some, well, stuff. And you can yet see there are stuff like this, which, like, it's a schedule. And Bert here is very special in the sense he has Night Owl stuff, which means that he will very likely be, like, he is more efficient when night, when it's night time. The only thing is he is sleeping when it's night time, which is why we will create a second schedule and simply turn this into his work time then I'm just gonna basically shove the stuff a little bit further. So he sleeps here, he has some downtime here, and he has bath time there. Which basically, I just moved the whole time, like the whole schedule a little bit further for Bert, so that he just is working during that time. And then I sort him in, and he will just follow that schedule. Yeah, missing research station. Since none of them are building this, they cannot do any of the stuff there in the moment, which is why I'm just gonna put the priority up on that. And now we can also continue to think about with what to do with a uh, mess hall. I'm simply gonna do this, do a little bit of this. Okay, as you can see now, it's the next cycle. I have now a basic plan for a mess hall that I'm gonna later also make into a great hall. Just, I don't have the decor enough for, uh, well, Great Hall yet. I need an artist for that. In the moment, it's just gonna stay a mess hall. Then I, yeah, I'm gonna have them build that. I'm gonna have them build this here too. And for that thing, the ladder, and we need to get up higher. Now we check what's up with the heat. Yes, we can see here, this was before, like, this type of green. Now it's yellowish, which means it's heating up, which we do not want because that will later go here, which is not good. So we're gonna have to also focus that in our research later. Once this is done, I'm gonna build this and then build this all because that way we get insulated tiles which means we can control heat better in the sense that we have tiles that the heat won't go through this is a bit of a pity because they are always going to get signed heat which if you see here gives a little bit stress per cycle which we luckily have zero of in the moment, but we need to keep that in check yet. And duplicate skill here, improved construction. Yeah, okay, there is no seed here that will first need, these need to grow first, and then there will be a seed, or here. Yep, here the seed went away, so we're gonna plant it over here. And for most people, you don't need to start with like going at fast speed. You can just do medium or slow speed. It's all up to preference. I just do fast speed because it's fast. <laughs> yeah. So here, you, what you can see is basically this 
carbon dioxide is gonna be going through here, down here, like it's gonna go into this area, which isn't bad. As you can see here, they need either oxygen, polluted oxygen, or carbon dioxide as their atmosphere, so it won't be a big, like it won't be bad if they are in carbon dioxide here. And now you can also do a little bit better with your prioritizing. For instance, now I'm gonna prioritize building this, well, mess hall and the area around it. Like here. I'm gonna probably not do these two. But as you can see, if I do this, then I just go here and here. That way they will do these with a higher priority. And that will be good because then they have a place to eat. And now it's cycle like six, you have these stuff. So either you can get fertilizer here or one of these. No, because bottom of stomach, I don't have that much food. So I'm not gonna want to put that in. This, like, they're not bad, but they're not as good as they could be. So I'm just gonna take the fertilizer and leave that be because I don't have, even have that much food that I can just give it out like that. Sweet. Yeah. And we can take a look around. Oh, look what we found here. It's a Draco and... Wait, let's zoom in on that. Wait a few seconds. There. Do you see it? It's a subscribe button. Click it and you will get more content like this. And maybe like, that would also be a good thing for this video because that way, if you like any of this, you can get more of it. Just like and subscribe. So now this is just gonna continue, they're gonna build this all, hopefully, and we wait. And I think that's gonna be it. We're on cycle six. This is the state of the base. We have our food, we have our toilets, well, outhouses. We have a little bit power and our research and beds and a soon to be mess table. That's gonna be it for this episode. So, till the next time.